What up guys, Peter Von Panda here. If you have a fireplace of some sort, maybe a wood burning stove like I do, you could probably use this Epica Log Grabber. This is a 25680, I bought it from where else than Amazon. And I'm showing it to you because it, it's more of a scissor-like log grabber and I really need one, but I'm concerned that the scissor style might be too fragile or loose or rickety to handle hot logs that are on fire. And here is the tag, fire tongue scissor action, 26 inches long. And they come folded up like this and if you simply squeeze them, just kind of like any scissor action, they seem to work. And actually when you close it up all the way, the tongs themselves are closed up and actually the tip touches. So that's kind of nice. So if I open and close them, I seem to get pretty good action. You know, it's the metal, I can obviously move it around. It's not so heavy like a, a cast iron that it's not, you know, completely inflexible, but that means it's not super heavy. Uh, but they have nice weight to them. And here are the hinges or the pivot points. See, they're kind of riveted in there. You've got uh, three parts where it'll move. This is the middle one, up and down, and the one closest to the end of the tongs. And so far, you know, the twisted metal is pretty thick, you know, a few millimeters thick. I think it should do pretty well. The, the uh, tong portion here isn't super big. It's about the size of you know, maybe maybe not even a tennis ball. Um, so if when you're grabbing onto a log, it should sit in there. It's like a handcuff. Look at that, handcuffs. So my seven and a quarter inch wrist is kind of ideally suited for this thing. Now let's give it a shot. Let's get a pretty decent sized log and lift it up and see if I can manipulate it. All right, guys. So I'm here with the fire pile, and I was just playing around with my Epica tongs here and I thought I would show you this is about a six inch log this is not maybe the biggest thing I would burn but it's pretty close as you can see here you know it's a pretty good sized log and you know if you're using a wood burning stove like I am you just can't get huge pieces in there so you can see it's kind of short as the way it'd be cut well I can tell you right now I've been trying to actually pick this thing up with the tongs and the problem is that you just cannot get with the small bend of the tongs a good enough grip on the log to really do much. You can you can absolutely kind of put some pressure on it and manipulate it, as you can see here. And so once this is in the fire, you know, if I were just to grab it with my hand and lift it and put it into the fireplace, I could kind of maneuver it around and kind of wiggle it in place or pull it and prod and, and kind of do the detail work on it. But it wouldn't really be that good for picking up and moving into kind of more strategic positions. Now, this log right here, boom, 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 is only about four inches in diameter. And it might be a little hard to see here, but um, there's my hand and it's not that big. Uh, this one, no problem. I can actually grab this log here with these tongs and not only pick it up and spin it around and, and maneuver it, but uh, I could do everything by even by picking it up off the, the wood pile and kind of pushing it into or laying it into the, the fireplace um, with these tongs, and that would be no problem. And if it's on fire, getting in there, grabbing it without a problem and moving it around. So anything by with a diameter of about four inches and smaller are going to be fine for this. Anything larger than that, like this five-ish, six-ish inch log or larger, is going to be just something that's gonna be nudged by these. It's not really gonna be easily easy to manipulate with these tongs. So just kind of keep that in mind. I think they're great. I'm gonna have them by my fireplace, probably use them a lot this winter. And uh, I think they're gonna be really helpful. But if you're, if you're gonna be using big logs for bigger applications, like a big fireplace or outdoors or whatever it might be, you might wanna look at something a little more substantial, maybe something in the cast iron or, or the more heavy duty fire pokers. Epica, pretty impressed with it. It's gonna keep me warm this winter. Peter Von Panda, out!